Hey everybody, John Burroughs here with Alarm System Store and today we're going to be working on Honeywell Vista panel wiring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the panel on the wall here at the shop and I'm going to run you through wiring in the transformer, a keypad, two smokes, a two wire and a four wire variety, a door contact and a motion sensor. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about how to wire these into the zones on the board and proper placement of resistors um, and also specialized wiring for the four wire smoke so you can do the smoke resets. So let's go over to the panel on the wall and take a look and we'll get started. All right here we are at the Vista 20p panel on the wall here in the shop and uh, I've got the door off of it and you know we've got a couple things that we were wiring in before but I've tried to strip it down so you can see what it looks like without stuff in it already and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the power transformer and I've got these two wires here running down to a Honeywell transformer so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these wires and run them through the knockout hole on the side and what we're gonna do is we're going to bring them to terminals one and two on the board on a Honeywell Vista panel, there is no polarity, so you can wire the black and red to whatever those two terminals you want. Terminals one and two on the far left side. So we're just going to stick these wires in here underneath these screw terminals, if I can get them in there. All right, and then once we got the wires in there, just tighten them down so they're nice and secure. Don't over tighten these screws because you will strip them out. Just make sure they're nice and snug. Before I plug that transformer in, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to wire in a keypad. And the keypad is a 6160 keypad, alphanumeric. And what you do is you will run wires from your keypad to terminals 4, 5, 6, and 7 inside the panel. Just run our wire through that hole and separate out these wires. So, your uh, negative wire is going to go to terminal 4. So we're going to take the black one, open up terminal 4, stick that wire in there, close that down. Then we'll take the red wire and put it in 5. Open it up, now tighten it down. And then our green and yellow wires are going to go to five or six and seven. So you'll want your green wire in six. So we'll go ahead and grab the green wire, stick it up under terminal six, tighten that down. And terminal seven will get the yellow wire. Go ahead and tighten that down. We will be coming back to terminal five when we hook up the smoke. So just uh, we'll show you what to do at that point. So the first thing I'm going to wire in to this system will be a two wire smoke. And two wire smokes always go on zone one on a Honeywell Vista panel. Um, if you have more than one two-wire smoke, you're just going to run all these together on zone one. They cannot be zoned out individually. So as you see here, I have a two-wire smoke. And I have placed the resistor at the device across the two terminals. You will do this with your resistors. They go at the item itself instead of in the panel. If you want a deeper explanation about resistors and how you use them, uh, check out Jason's video. I'm going to put a link down here at the bottom of the screen so you can go check that out. I'm not going to go in depth on resistors. He already did. So check his video out for more information. And what I've done is I've taken the black and red wires. I've taken the red wire to the positive, the first positive here. I've taken a negative to this last terminal, which is the negative. And then I've ran a resistor in parallel between these two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other end of these wires and I am going to take them over to terminals 8 and 9, which is zone 1 on the Honeywell Vista system. 
to make sure those screws are out there. Stick both wires, stick one wire under eight and the other wire under nine, and then tighten those screws down. And there you have it. Two wire smoke wired into the panel on zone one. Normally open devices such as smokes and heats will be ran in parallel as opposed to other devices that are normally closed which you will run in series. Next thing I am going to hook into this system will be a door contact. You can see it here, just a simple surface mount door contact. And as you see, I have taken the resistor and ran it in series with one of the wires at the actual device itself. So you never want to put them in the panel. What we'll do is we'll take, so I've got the green and yellow wires here on this door contact. I'm going to come down to the other end here, find my green and yellow wires, and I will put those on terminals 10 and 11 for zone two. So go ahead and get these wires up under these terminals and then screw them down securely. Nice and snug, not too tight. So there you have it, door contact on zone two. The next one I'm gonna put in here is a powered device, and this will have four wires. This is an IS2535 from Honeywell. And um, what I've got here is I've got the two power wires, the black and red, going to these two terminals inside. And I've got the zone wires over here on the normally closed and common. And on the normally closed terminal, the green wire, I have added my resistor. So, and it is in series with that one wire. So this is normally closed, so it'll run in series with one of the wires. So what you're gonna do first with this motion detector, since it has four wires, is we are gonna take the black and red wires and we are gonna run them to terminals four and five. So we'll go here, open up four a little bit so we can get this wire in here. Stick the wire up underneath there, screw it down again. And then we will go to terminal five. Open that up just a little bit so we get the wire in. Put the wire in and screw it down. And we'll take the other two wires, hopefully. <laughs> All right, just stretch those wires out a little bit. And then we'll take the other two wires. Doesn't matter about polarity on the zone wires. You can do them whichever way you want. So we're gonna still, I'm gonna stick the yellow one up underneath 12. Open that up a little bit more so I can get it in. There we go. And then the green wire, we're going to do under 13. And there you go. We've got a motion detector wired into zone three with the power wires going back to terminals four and five and your resistor at the device. So just let that hang here. The last one we're going to do is a four wire smoke. Now the four wire smokes, you can take these and, and zone them out on their own individual zones. But to do a reset for these smokes, you'll have to do a little bit of special wiring as you can see from the four wire smoke I have here, I have it wired with the positive, the red wire on the first positive terminal and the black wire on the negative terminal. And then I have my normally open and common terminals here with the green and yellow wires. I've taken a resistor and run it in parallel between the two posts here. Since it is a normally open device, the resistor will be in parallel between the two posts. So, first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wire it, the green and yellow, to zone number four. So I'll stick my yellow in terminal 14. 
And I'll stick my green in terminal 15. Actually, I'm sorry. I got it mixed up. 13, uh, zones three and four share terminal 13. So we're gonna put the green in 13, my apologies. So we'll open up 13 again, stick that other wire under there, close that up. So now we have devices on zones one through four. I'm just gonna wrap some of these wires back so they're not interfering with things. And what you do with your power wires on these uh, four wire smokes to get the reset will have to run off the trigger pins. So you're gonna take your positive wire and run it back to terminal five. So open up five a little bit, stick that wire in there, close it down. And what I've done is I've run the negative wire together with this wiring harness now I know a lot of you out there in YouTube lands are probably going to comment on this video and be like, that's not the proper harness to use. This will work for demonstration purposes. What you'll usually use is a TR4120 for your trigger pins. You're going to plug this in to the trigger pins on the Vista 20P, which are located right above the terminals to the right of the heat sink. And your negative wire is going to go to the first pin on this row, which is trigger pin 17. When you get a smoke alarm on this zone, what it's gonna do is, because of this trigger pin wiring and the programming that you will do for it, is it will drop power on your, your four wire smokes just long enough to reset them, then it'll bring it back up. So that's how you have to do it. You'll have to run your positive terminal five and then your negative wires are all gonna connect onto this wire for trigger pin 17. If you have any problems getting the wires under these terminals, if you got a lot of wires, I would recommend our BT600 uh, wiring block. Basically what it does is you will, it's got six, terminal, or it's got six terminals, um, and then you will wire to this terminal block, and then you're only gonna have to wire two wires from the terminal block to your panel. So it saves a lot of space. It's pretty nifty to use. Uh, you know, it saves a lot of mess in the panel. You can organize it a little bit better. And there's a link for it down here at the bottom of the screen if you wanna check it out. But that's it for wiring and resistance usage, um, you know, from your transformer to your keypad to your devices. So um, I hope you learned something from this. We'll go back over and I'll take you out. All right, though, well, that's how it's done. If you guys have any other questions about how to do this, feel free to give us a call on our toll-free line, 888-811-0727, or you can visit our website at alarmsystemstore.com and check out our knowledge base. We have great videos there for your knowledge and also wiring and schematic and programming guides. Check that out. It will be really helpful for you. And um, like I said, if you need any help, give us a call. John Burroughs with Alarm System Store. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.